today is a beautiful day as you will come to see here on uh, an undisclosed location but we are on the water and we are heading to Muscle Island because today is the start of what you've probably heard Corey describing which is the foundation built by helical piers and uh, yeah it's a beautiful day Wow. You rolling? Man, so look at this. Give them a give them a little bit of a close up of all these barrels. So what we're looking at right now, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh we're walking through right in the middle of where the Muscle Island house will be when it's all said and done. And so what each of these blue barrels represent is essentially where all 18 of those helical piles are gonna be situated in the ground. Um, and those guys are about to arrive any moment, which Kyle will capture them coming in off of the barge. What a beautiful day. Maybe zoom in on all this little family of ducks over here. We got a little bit of everything here at Muscle Island. So as you can see, as Kyle backs out here, we still have some of the remnants of uh, our flood pits we had. And um, we've had a lot of dirt moved around now that we've been able to get some heavy equipment back out here with the help of uh, one of our guys, Frank. And um, all this swampy mess is essentially no more. So I would say all the intermittent hard work paid off, Corey, right? Our seawall is still standing, about to be knocked down here very soon, again with the help of Frank. But um, all in all, this is a ton of progress here, a lot different from just a couple days ago even. And so uh, I would assume with Content Cal's masterful editing skills, probably right after you get done hearing me long-windedly describe all this, we're going we're gonna to start seeing a lot of changes. Helical Pier is about to go down.
crazy, Tyler. It is pretty crazy. Yeah, from where we started at of geotechnical, figuring out how the hell, what you even do. Kyle, I'll have to send you the video for the geotechnical so you can show like the machine that actually showed us that we needed these. And then when it said we needed these, we didn't even know what they was. We were Google searching it. Uh, it's pretty wild. I'm gonna check these things out. It's sick. This is fucking awesome. We thought we were screwed and we had to figure this part out. <laughs> when the geotechnical came back and said you need these things, I didn't even... Yeah, that's so, no clue what they were. No, <laughs> hell no. So seeing this shit go in the ground, we had a lot of work into this point, pretty cool. I just can't believe these fucking barrels all fall in the water. Yeah. Great day at Muscle Island. I gotta tell you, getting to the part where we're drilling the helical piles for the foundation has been unbelievable to see. Cause getting to this part, you good Kyle? Getting to this part was at one point felt a little bit hopeless when we had all this stuff going on over here, sumping all this water out, trying to get it dry enough to do this whole thing and just even being aware of what this thing is in general. Like me and Tyler talked multiple times about this process, jumping with two feet in and just figuring it out. This right here is one of the bigger figuring it out type things because there's a reason why somebody hasn't built on this property in like a hundred years. And this I would say is probably one of the contributing factors. Obviously the uh, utilities was a contributing factor, but this right here is, um, I don't know, it's really awesome to see. And just watching them put in 33 feet, because they obviously put these things together, as you guys have seen, and to, and to drill these things down. And shout out to Frank Foster, who's my barge guy, slash knows how to do everything. The idea to put the barrels in the ground, because he knew they would fill up with a little bit of water, was freaking genius. So Frank Foster is the man. He hooked it up, and these guys have been great to work with. Shout out to Wire Group, they came through. This is a one day job. This was a uh, stressful part of this whole process. See these guys knock this out in a day. Shout out Tyler Sea Lover right there. That's my homie that built the wall with me. Got it figured out. We was in here with the waders. We were pumping out the water. We were trying to get to this part right here. And we were hoping it was gonna work. So I don't know, it feels really good. The next, the next thing that'll feel extra good is the day they barge over the containers and they stack them and start welding them together and then we're off to the races. So super exciting uh, spot in this whole project. We've learned so much, it's unbelievable. Um, hopefully you enjoy seeing this craziness and uh, appreciate y'all. Can't wait to see a Muscle Island, baby. What we're, uh, what we're installing is helical, uh, helical piers, helical piles, let's say, and uh, have achieved a little pressure engineered pressure to uh, achieve to make them good for the structural ability for the, the home to sit on them and uh, the pressure that I need to achieve is right around 900 psi which is equivalent to like 17.4 kips of compression um, Basically, we're hitting and achieving the pressure in a shorter volume than what I anticipated. Anticipated we were supposed to be at like 28 feet, but we're hitting the half of that. So it's working out better for all of us. 